Welcome to the Job Pack Podcast, where we get practical insights from job seekers and professionals in less than 10 minutes. Today's guest is Donna Teitelman. And Donna, why don't you tell us about yourself? Well, first of all, thank you for inviting me to the podcast. I love to share information that will help other people, especially those in job search. I'm a strategic consultant, and I support my clients by developing processes and people-oriented projects that promote the company, that promote what they're selling, their service, and also the executives in that company. Writing intensive projects are really my sweet spot. I can draft edit and produce final copy in no time at all. It's just something that I really have a passion for. The other area that I do really well in is OD projects. So organizational development, such as employee engagement and customer engagement, thought leadership, any way a company can get themselves out there, awards, certifications. I recently helped a company apply for what's called Ecoveta status. And basically that's a sustainability certification that shows that they are a company that cares about the environment ethics, labor and human rights, and that they support sustainable procurement. It's a huge issue right now, especially in companies that are overseas in Europe. There are more, um, more people are getting certified over there, but it's very quickly coming into the United States. And I think what made me the right person to help the company with this project was the questionnaire was writing intensive. It was in, it was complex. And other than that, there were areas of the questionnaire that required policies and processes for the company that they didn't currently have. So my ability to deal with those organizational development policies and get them in writing and get them on the questionnaire in a short period of time, which we had to apply, uh, it all came together. That's fantastic. And I, you know, I, I can tell uh, folks who are listening that, uh, you know, Donna was one of the people who worked with us during our proof of concept for job pack and, and the rave review she got from, from people who participated. Were it was fantastic. great fun. So, uh, I'm super excited to have you. What, what do you think uh, employers are looking for when they, when they look for a candidate nowadays? Well, I think the job market is coming back, which is great. So there are jobs out there and, it, it has changed a little bit because we have such a huge remote workforce. So right now, candidates need to show an employer that they can work independently, right? So they need to be able to research. They have to be extremely resourceful, whether that's with technology or people, and they have to be flexible. And if you can figure out how to demonstrate that in the content that you're providing during the interview, it's going to make that employer feel more confident that you're able to do that job independently. Not that you won't be in an office at some point or sometimes, but there's a very good chance that you'll have to work on your own and they want to make sure that you're ready to hit the ground running. Yeah, that's great guidance, I think. Uh, that, that certainly resonates for me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think there's what you have to do in the interview to demonstrate that you have the qualities they're looking for. But, you know, in this climate, when there's so much, uh, there's so many job seekers applying for a single position, what, what do you think successful job seekers are doing to really stand out from, uh, from the crowd, if you will? Well, it, it's super important to be memorable. And the way that you make a connection with another human being and establish relatedness is by sharing something about yourself, something that's unique to you, that's personal. Uh, I had a candidate that had just started jujitsu lessons. And I said, that is such a great thing to be sharing in an interview. And they said, well, you know, I haven't even gotten my first belt yet. Maybe let me wait until I do. And I said, well, I don't know you know, what they have to do to get that belt that they, they described to me sounded like a lot of what I would look for in a candidate. And so I said, well, what have you learned on this journey to get this belt? And what the person said back to me was so memorable. They said, well, I learned to expect failure and to accept it and to take that energy that angst from not getting the win of that particular match and create a plan and then use that plan to improve and reach my goal and to win, to succeed. And I said, you absolutely must tell that in an interview. And, and to me, when you've got, let's say you want to go from 
seven candidates down to three and you're going to kick those three people over to the hiring manager, they're going to say, I want the jujitsu guy in that top three because it's memorable. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great story. That's awesome. And what, what other advice can you give to job seekers? Like what's the, what's the top thing that you would say to somebody who's coming to you for, for, for guidance? So it's super important to prepare. I had worked with someone who said, I've been interviewing candidates for my present position. I'm on the hiring committee and they are a great interviewer. And so they felt that that really prepared them to be a candidate. And we worked together and very quickly found out that there was plenty that they could be doing to make themselves more attractive for that job. I think it's important to focus on competencies. Earlier, I said that the employer wants to know you can hit the ground running. So now you've got to know what that takes. So you want to look at that role. You want to consider the industry and that particular company and come up, what are the five things that if you were the CEO of that company, you would be looking for in the role that you're applying for? And that is super important. If you can get that nailed down, now you need to practice it. So it's got to be organized. It can't be something that you just thought of and, you know, maybe made some notes. If you can organize your story into a star format and then practice it, you're more likely to be able to converse about it and answer questions about it, be interactive in the interview. And for, for people that haven't worked with star, this is one of the things that I did with the job pack. It's situation, task, action, result. Super basic. A lot of companies out there are using this format to interview. And you simply write two sentences for each of those sections. Describe the situation, say what they tasked you to do, talk about the actions you took, and number one, show the results. That is my number one advice for job seekers. That's great advice. That's that's something that that I did myself uh, when I was looking was just having my collection of stories in that star format and and being ready to answer questions. Uh, huge huge chunk. And it of just worked, ready. didn't it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely had some success. I can't complain. Uh, so great advice. Uh, really appreciate that, Donna. And and just out of curiosity, last question. You know, what was your first job? So that takes me back. <laughs> When I first started out, I saw an ad in the newspaper for Prudential, a very big company, brick and mortar company, and something in that ad attracted me. They paid for college tuition. And so I applied for a job. I ended up in their telemarketing unit. They were looking for people that were able to articulate and build relationships, make a connection. And it was a fun and great job. I did an undergraduate degree and I was able to move up in the company to what was then called in the 90s, continuous improvement process. That was the quality, the beginning of the pro quality programming. Um, that was a fun job for me because it started to introduce the project work and the process analysis that I love so much. Uh, the company also paid for a graduate degree. And this was just heaven for me. I was able to do my work. I was able to get my studying done. And after I got my MBA, I moved up again. And I came into what is now the current process of re-engineering. And I was in IT at that time. And there were tons of things that we had to sort of unpack and rebuild to save money and to put the right people in the right place at the right, doing the right jobs. And that's really the foundation of my skill set that I use in consulting. And I was able to move from the company when I wanted to and start my own business in strategic consulting using those foundational things that I learned in the job. So that was an excellent first job. That was 15 years of my career. Wow, that sounds awesome. Uh, it sounds like Prudential made a great choice and it sounds like you had a really great uh, place to start your career. So. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on uh, and, and sharing your insights and experience uh, for the podcast. And uh, I want to thank uh, all of our listeners for uh, tuning in. Job Pack is a virtual job club that connects job seekers to accelerate job seeking success. 
And you can find out more about it at jobhack.co. You can also subscribe to the podcast uh, on the website or on other major podcasting platforms. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you. Take care.